Yeah. All right, y'all. It's your girl Anna Denise, and I'm back with another video, another trucking video. This video is gonna be about our covenant update. Um, a lot of people were asking, are we still with covenant, and how's everything going with covenant? And today we're here to tell you guys all about it. So we're no longer with covenant. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it was a little bit too good to be true, to be honest. Like, you always gotta really have plan Bs because I honestly thought Covenant was that job. Like, I thought it was gonna be where we're gonna be at for the next couple of years, you know? But it didn't turn out that way and that's okay. But today we're just gonna tell you guys the update and our experience, the little month that we did work with them. Right. If you see me looking down at my phone, I wrote down some notes because I wanted to make sure I go over every point as to why we made our decision to not work with them anymore. Um, the first reason might seem so stupid and it might seem like that's what you signed up for, but me being somebody with no experience and knowing nothing about the trucking industry, the trucking world, I really didn't truly understand this. And the number one reason was OTR. And I know that sounds so crazy because that's what we signed up for. But in reality, you know, my husband kept telling me how rough it was being over the road. And he kept, you know, telling me, but I didn't want to listen. Like I was saying, all I was saying was the dollar signs that pretty much everybody was posting about Covenant. And I wasn't really taking it into consideration how hard over the road really is like I kept hearing people say trucking is not a job it's really a lifestyle style especially being over the road like it, it was very very rough for us honestly because um honestly because you really don't know where you're going when you're going um they pretty much in my opinion wanted you to like match your clocks out and you really just don't know where you're going which goes into the next reason is forced dispatch like that's another thing i knew nothing about the trucking industry i don't even know if i knew what forced dispatch was and with being over the road and having forced dispatch as soon as you reach one destination bam they might see you across the world to a even crazier place that the weather could be terrible like you really don't know where you're going over the road. It's rough. You don't know where you're going. It's depressing. For me, it was depressing. I didn't like it. Um, we made the best out of the situation, but I just wasn't feeling the over the road. I didn't like it. Just no. Right. And like I was saying about the force dispatched, um, I don't like being told where I'm going. I know that sounds crazy, but I don't like being told where I'm going and not having the option as to if I want to turn that down or not. Like, feel like the type of person I am, I want to always have an option because if I don't feel safe going somewhere, I'm not going. Just point blank period. I'm not going. And with Covenant, I felt like, I'm not going to say threatened, but I kind of did feel threatened when I did reach out and let them know that I didn't feel comfortable going somewhere. I felt like the response I got wasn't the response that I thought that I would get being a new driver. Like, it really wasn't no sympathy. And I don't want nobody to cut sympathy for me. If the job's just not for me, personally. Right. And that's how a lot of new drivers get tricked into losing their CDLs personally. If I don't want to go somewhere, I'm not going. However they react to it, that's how they react to it. So... I'm with a new train. I'm I'm really was training my wife, so you're not about to send me through mountains where it's still snowing and ice. I'm just not doing it, right? So, hey. So the next reason was, which kind of still ties in with all of that. Covenant claims that, you know, they hire people with no experience. You don't have to have experience, but it wasn't beginner friendly in no way, like. My first my first load, I think I was traveling through mountains and I was scared shitless. Like I, I was 
I was outdone. I wanted to quit that day. Like, you know, I got on the phone historical and I was just very like upset that they would even send me somewhere like that, you know, especially on my first time driving a truck. Seriously, besides testing out and getting my CDL, I'm driving through mountains, like high mountains. And then it didn't help that the Quadcom kept sending alerts saying high winds and you know, the winds were so high and I'm feeling the trailer. Like it, it was very, it was so scary for me. And you know, I called, you know, my, um, what is it called, babe? Fleet team. I called my fleet team and. By the way, we're a fleet team three. Yeah. Refrigerated. We were on fleet team three, um, the reefer team. Yeah. Um, I called, I called them to let them know how scared I was. And, and at this time, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I told you guys, but the first 40 hours, you have to do how many hours, babe? Um, 40 hours, I couldn't drive. You but how many hours, 40. how many hours did we drive in total? 145 or 140? I think it was like 145. So in total, training was 145 hours. And for the first 40, <laughs> your trainer cannot drive. They can't step in. They can't do anything you pretty much once you take over that wheel like you're in there like it's no asking him to help me get through certain parts because i honestly could have made it better if he could have stepped in and drove through those mountains for me but he couldn't and it was just very scary to say that was my first time driving and i called my my fleet team like i was i was scared i was damn near in tears that like you, that was some scary shit for me. Um, and it was just like no type of like, you know, they didn't care. Like, you know, and that's kind of just what it is. You know, with most of these companies, they don't care. They truly don't care about you. The only person that's not going to care about you is you, right? So Literally. It's only about money. It's always ever about money. So just whatever you know you can and can't do. Just be real with yourself, you know, don't try to force the issue. If you feel like you can get through it, get through it. If you can't, you know, just let them know, you know. You only get one life, you only get one license. So if you lose it, you can't get it back, so. Exactly, and when you do lose it, nobody else is gonna care about you. I mean. No, they're gonna be hiring the next driver. They exactly. have orientation two days. They have Literally, two the day we left orientation, week. yeah, they're, I mean, yeah, so I mean, you're easily replaced. That's just what it is. and. I'm not gonna even risk my, my license for a job that doesn't truly care about me. Um, and like I said, weather was terrible. I never even knew high winds exist <laughs> to that day. Like, <laughs> like it, it was bad. Like looking down, it was just overwhelming for a very, a new driver. And it was just not beginner friendly. Cause even if something out there happens that's like not your fault, if you ever try to go look for another job and it's on your record, whether it's your fault or not, it'll stop you from, from having opportunities. So, you know, it's just something to think about, you know, so. Okay, the next reason was it wasn't the home time that we wanted. Once again, we know that it's over the road, but we were under the impression when we signed up, since we live in Dallas, we were told that they could get us home if every two weeks, if not every week, because they have so many loads coming to the DFW area. So we were told that like, oh, well you guys can get home every week if you wanted to. And that still wasn't our goal. We were still gonna do the every two week um, ordeal. But the more and more we were working, like it wasn't seeming like we were ever gonna get home. Like the whole time we work, as many loads as they have coming to DFW, we didn't get sent to Dallas one time. Not one time. Like. We were totally somewhere where we don't know. And I think they do that on purpose so you don't go home because they were mentioning that some drivers go home and they don't want to come back. <laughs> and so I can see why. <laughs> but they, it's like they, it, it felt like they were purposely not sending you where you were from. But that could have possibly even helped you stay if you can go home and sleep for the night. You know what I mean? It just wasn't. It just wasn't what it. It just wasn't worth it. But... It wasn't the home time that we wanted. Like, we at least wanted to be home every two weeks. Like, we're not that couple that's about to be out for a month, two months, three months, four months. Like, we have a whole life. We have things we, like, got to do. Like, 
And last but not least, they say it. The pay was all right. The pay was never right. Like we got like four checks with them and our pay has never been right. To this day, like our pay wasn't right. We just said, fuck it and whatever. I mean, it's not even worth it. Like, I don't even think he got the 400 that they promised him for training me. Like it just was, pay was never right, but it is what it is, you know? Like you live and you learn. Like that situation just wasn't best for us. Um, yeah, every check that we got, it was like short, couple hundred dollars. And you know, we would call and tell them and then when you get your next check, it's still not put on there like they promised you. So it just wasn't a good situation for us. And we pretty much, the odds outweighed the good. So yeah, by any means, Covenant is not a bad company because if all of these things don't bother you, then it wasn't a bad company. Like nobody really was like rude. Everybody there was nice, you know. I just felt like, I didn't feel like nobody cared, especially me as a new driver. And I'm not saying I'm supposed to have sympathy, none of that. But if you don't have sympathy for your workers or your drivers, then I mean, I, that's not a company that I want to be with anyway. So it just wasn't aligned with our morals or whatever the case is. But yeah, so I think this is making it the third month of me having my CDO. Um, we did find another job really, really fast. People tell you all the time, and I heard it all the time, especially through trucking school, that having no experience, you pretty much have to go straight over the road or you have to just pretty much have these jobs that don't pay anything or that you're literally running yourself to death. Like, that's not true. Like, there's so many jobs out there being brand new out of school that you can go and get and be happy with. You don't have to settle for jobs like Covenant, jobs like... Or any mega carrier. Any mega carrier that's having you over the road for months and months at a time, you do not have to do that. You don't have to do that. So don't let nobody tell you that you do. But if you guys, should I tell them, babe, the job that we're at? Nah, we gotta, we gotta wait. We gotta let this video marinate. And if they're interested and we get good feedback on this one, then we'll let them know the sauce. All right, y'all. Well. Bay has said no. So we won't be, I'll make another video on the company that we're with and pretty much the process with them. Um, we truly love the company that we work with now. We're so grateful, we're so happy, we're blessed. Um, we're not over the road no more. We still team drive, but we're on a dedicated route and we go one place and back, one place and back, one place and back. And it's truly amazing. And this is what I was looking for in the trucking then when i wanted to truck drive this is what i wanted i didn't truly know what over the road meant i didn't truly know that over the road like it's it's rough like <laughs> encountering so many different people from different areas like these people are rude these people dealing with shippers dealing with sketchy places you have to back in with the job that we're with now i'll say one thing we definitely drive doubles and you don't even have to back like it's truly amazing like we love our job and we've been here the last two months since we left covenant it was a very fast process getting on and yeah we're so happy definitely gonna make another video please give this video a thumbs up and please comment below your opinions and if you experience the same thing with covenant or what was your experience with covenant because everybody's experience is not going to be the same but this is our experience and we just wanted to update you guys on everything and how where we're at a pretty much a little life update please like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video bye Don't you live